Hey guys, it's Lauren. So today I'm going to be talking to you guys a little bit about my status as a medical marijuana patient. Um, about a year and a half ago, I stopped taking all my pharmaceuticals that I was taking for endometriosis and I got my medical marijuana card in Arizona. Ever since then, I've been medicating with solely marijuana, THC and CBD, and I do not take any of those pharmaceuticals that I was taking before. It's an open thing in my family. They allow me to medicate in my house and I think that's really cool. But today I'm going to be doing a full review of the Pax Era. So I've been using this for about a month now. I bought my first set at the Holistic Center in Phoenix, Arizona. So this is mine. I've been using it for about a month. And basically the component, the cartridge, is made by Pax. And so is the battery. And Pax is the same company that makes the famous um, e-cig that's been taking the whole country by storm, the Jewel. And it that's really convenient because um, these look really similar to Jewel. So in public, it's very discreet and um, nobody knows what you're using. They think you're just using a vape. In California, there's a whole bunch of um, growers and concentrate companies that manufacture the concentrates. Um, Pax provides them with the pod and they just fill them. But in Arizona, there's only one. We have drip concentrates. I'm going to show you the app. One of the cool features that comes with the Pax Era is that it is, com it is completely controllable through the Pax app. If you can see, this is how it works. Your Pax device connects to your phone through Bluetooth and you just shake it and here she is right now mine is set to 560 degrees there's a lot of different things you can do with this app first you can change the temperature so if you watch back there as i change the temperature on the app a light turns on and it displays while you're changing the temperature i like to keep my packs around 550 or 560 degrees it's a really good temperature I think to burn the cartridge and then as the cartridge gets towards the end um, I do have to turn the heat up to finish it but when you start on a lower setting the cartridge will continue to burn properly on the low setting um, and then as it gets towards the end towards the bottom to burn the last bit of it you may have to turn it up another cool feature that this app has is session control Basically, you have a whole bunch of options. I should record the screen. Oh my god. But there is basically session control on the app where you can select between um, off, micro, small, or media, small, medium, or large sessions. You have the option to have a micro, small, medium, or large session. And I'm going to just choose small. And then you take your pen and you draw. And as you can see, the little green bar slides. And you have a session where you can literally control how much medication you are consuming. Um, after your session is complete, the device locks and you can no longer hit the pen for 30 seconds, but you can um, turn that off and unlock it if you want to. But it helps you so you don't mindlessly or like aimlessly just keep hitting it without realizing. Another cool thing about this is you can change the color of your device with the app. So right now I have mine on red, so when I, when I draw, red light lights up. But you can also have a yellow light, a blue light, or a white light. I like to keep it on a red legs. You can also adjust the brightness. There's also a couple games you can play on the packs. I've never really gotten to playing the games because to be honest, I just really like to medicate and I guess my 
I'm too ADHD to actually learn how to play the games. I've tried a bunch of flavors, so I'm gonna talk to you and give you a full review of all the different cartridges I've tried. But before we do that, I'm gonna open a brand new cartridge and try it out for the first time on camera. This is King Louie and it is a full indica. Each cartridge comes with 500 milligrams of distillate and they come in a package like this. When you open the box up, you get this little container, which I love because it's childproof and the top is very reminiscent of like a pill bottle cap. So it really feels like medicine. When I open it up, <laughs> when you open it up, this is what you get. I really like that the name is engraved. Basically, if you follow their Instagram, um, you can see that they show you the process of how the names are lasered into the cartridge, which I really love because if you have multiple flavors, having the name in the cartridge really helps you so you don't get confused or mix them up. Um, this one, this one is Purple Punch. It's the one I've been using. And this is the new one, King Louie. So I have my battery, but then I also have this one in the package. So we're just going to put the cartridge in here. When you insert the cartridge correctly, a white light appears like that. This tastes really good. Um, King Louie is kind of more of like a strain flavored cartridge. Some cartridges to me taste like fruit or sweet or kind of some reminiscent of the flavor. Like the purple one is kind of fruity and sweet. Or the purple punch I should say is fruity and sweet. But the King Louie is really a true strain flavor. Really good. The first flavor I tried was straw nana, and the straw nana is really good. It kind of tastes to me, first of all, it's a hybrid, and to me, it tastes like when you make a strawberry banana smoothie and those like strawberry seeds are at the bottom. I really taste that strawberry seed flavor, and I know I sound crazy, but that is what it tastes like to me. It's really good. I had a really great effect from that one, and that is straw nana. The next cartridge that I'm going to be talking about is bubblegum. Um, bubblegum is a one-to-one -one CBD to THC. So basically it is 250 milligrams of THC and 250 milligrams of CBD, all in a 500 milligram cartridge. And I really loved this flavor, for or this strain. For pain, it was really good. Um, the CBD kept me feeling having no anxiety, and it was just an overall, first of all, the flavor was delicious, but it left me really feeling like very nice and happy and euphoric and then also free of pain, which is a huge plus. Next we have Purple Punch, which is the strain that was currently in my packs. Um, it is an indica strain. I really love it. Um, it really helped, it was another one that helped relieve my anxiety. Um, also I have insomnia, so this was really good at nighttime. Um, as you can see, there's a moon on it because it's an indica, and I would really recommend this strain if you have, in <sighs> if you have insomnia or something like that because it is a really heavy indica. I was euphoric, happy, giggly, and eventually tired. <laughs> Last but not least, I want to talk about this one last because it's my absolute favorite. I've bought probably like four or five of these because just can't get enough. It is Pink Starburst. It was probably one of the first strains that I ever tried um, just because it sounded so appealing and it is a hybrid, um, a sativa dominant hybrid. And for me, I've always, 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 always been an indica person the past like year because I have a lot of anxiety and I always felt like sativa kind of like accentuated my anxiety. 
so I was very nervous. I completely stopped smoking any sativa and solely smoked indica for about a whole year until I found this cartridge. Um, Pink Starburst was voted one of the most potent strains in 2017, one of the top 10 most potent strains in 2017, and that is so true. This gave me a lot of energy, um, it made me really happy and focused without giving me anxiety, which I really loved, because, I, and I think that's because it's a hybrid, a sativa dominant hybrid, but it really opened my eyes to trying something new and learning that not every sativa is going to give me anxiety. That has been my review of the Pax Era. I really love this. Um, the only thing that I guess some people are a little bit hesitant is you have to buy the whole new setup. And there, in, at least in Arizona right now, there's only one um, brand of oil you can get. But what I do have to say is Drip Oil, which is by True Med, um, the dispensary. This oil is extremely good. I am very picky about my cartridges. I don't like any of the cartridges sold in Arizona. I completely, completely switched and made the switch to PAX. By the way, I bought all of these products myself. Um, I was not given any of these for free, uh, unless it was a deal at the dispensary, but not for the purpose of this video, not for a review. Um, all of this was purchased by me and done independently. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.